All right. So as we do understand that uh, in each and every term, we are going to consider the topics that we are going to work with, uh, that you are supposed to understand, uh, work with those topics, revise, uh, so that you be able to work with what is uh, in your examinations to come. So in this term, uh, which is our term three, we are going to be focusing. The first part is that you are going to be working with the trigonometry. Uh, but this time you are referring uh, to the sign, the cosine, and the area rules. That means they need you to understand the concept of the sine rule, the cosine rule, and also the area rule. That is to prove and apply these rules, the sine rule, the cosine, and the area rules, and also to solve problems in two dimensions using the sine, the cosine, and the area rules. So meaning to say that is the major part, and we also... Uh, here of the application. So the other part is going to be on the applications. Uh, in this case, in the solving of the problems, we have got the applications of these uh, rules that we have mentioned on, on the top. All right. Then the other part that you are also going to need is to work with a part of the statistics, which is also important in this uh, term. Uh, that is to revise the measures of central tendency and dispersion, uh, dispersion in ungrouped and grouped data and also to revise the five number summary, that is the maximum, minimum, and the quartiles. And also you must revise the box and whisk up diagrams to, to revise the histograms, the frequency polygons, the orgives, which is the cumulative frequency curves. And also you must be work with the variance, which is the standard deviation of ungrouped, and also to work with the symmetric and the screw data. Uh, identification of outliners. So all that part, we are going to see it as we are moving on uh, with our revisions. Then also we are going to need to revise or work with our probability, which is the major part as we can see. Uh, it's gonna be from a week six, seven and eight uh, with probability. That is to revise the use of probability models to compare the relative frequency of events with theoretical probabilities, then also revise the use of Venn diagrams uh, to solve probability problems. So we're gonna see that uh, working with these uh, rules that are being given. Also, you must be able to identify dependent and independent events in the simplification that you're going to use. Uh, then the use of the Venn diagrams to solve probability uh, problems as we saw before. Then also the use of the tree diagrams in solving of these probability problems, uh, which is going to depend with the events that you are given, and also the use of the Venn diagrams, T diagrams, uh, the contiguous tables to solve real life problems. We want to see how are we going to use these in real life uh, situations, uh, which is real life uh, problems. Then also, the last part that we are going to see is the part of the finance uh, growth and decay, which is the last uh, part that you are going to have in the last weeks of your revisions. And in this part, you must be able to work out, revise the use of the simple and compound growth formula. Uh, also understand the amplification of uh, flexuring foreign exchanges, the use of the simple and compound decay formula. Uh, the effect of different periods of compound uh, growth and decay, including nominal and effective interest rates. So that is what you are going to have as the major part uh, at the last condition. So that is it, guys. And do not forget, you are going to have the part of your test, which is the part of your SBA. So meaning to say you are supposed to revise as much as you can uh, do yourself a favor to work with everything because that is going to affect you uh, in the examinations. And remember, as you are writing uh, the exams, that will be an effect from what you had uh, from your term one uh, to term three. So that means you must revise uh, the previous topics that you had before uh, because that is going to affect you uh, in the exam that you are going to have or in the test that you are going to have. So make sure that you do revise uh, some. Uh, they can just work with the term three uh, part that you are given, but in most cases, you are going to be referred back to your term one. So make sure that you do 
revise everything. So as you can see, we are going to work with four topics, which is a lot uh, that we need to consider uh, the exercises and also uh, the question papers so that you prepare yourselves for the exams which are ahead of time. So that's it, guys. Uh, in this term, make sure you do uh, the revision, as I said before. Still meet again.